Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Costa Rica. Woo! Good morning. We are packed up and ready to go today for our first full day adventure in Costa Rica. We're climbing a volcano today and I'm super excited. Me too, I can't wait because I can't really see it because of all the clouds, which is There's definitely a lot sad. of clouds, but yeah. at this moment, it's not raining. It's not raining. It is so muggy, though. My hair is, it's like wet, and I did not shower this e this morning. <laughs> that's, a, that's part of a volcano. <laughs> so today, we're headed out with Red Lava Tours. We're going to hike a volcano and go to a waterfall and then finish it off with a nice hot spring. All right, so we took a short bus tour. We are at the base of the volcano right now. Mm -hmm. Right now we're just killing a little bit of time before the tour actually starts. We're gonna get on a, a, a tractor, basically, and get pulled a couple of kilometers to the trail. Right now they have a garden filled with flowers, plants, and right now we're gonna go try and find some frogs. Try it. <laughs> All right, let's go. ventured off and went for a hunt for some frogs, but we don't actually see any, so we're gonna go see if we have better luck with the butterflies. We are currently in the butterfly sanctuary and there are tons of them just flying around the roof here. Heading to the waterfall, it has started to rain, so we put the Sony away and we are going strictly on the GoPro for now. <laughs> oh, the I don't want to move because I stung very hard, so I don't want to get Oh, yeah. For sure. It's called the that velvet, and it's like a little, little alien. I <laughs> don't <laughs>
What do you think of this place? Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I keep looking up. You're like, it's almost like you're in a dish. You know, like if you're just surrounded by jungle and wildlife and you're just floating in the bottom. So we've been hanging out here for a bit. Our tour guide said we have about an hour to relax here, swim in the water, just kind of enjoy the river for a bit. Beautiful. We've seen some pretty big fish swimming by us. Oh yeah, huge. <laughs> So he just told us that those prints were from an armadillo. Ooh, armadillo. I would love to see an armadillo walk. Yeah, I didn't even think they'd be able to get through a tree like this. Uh, apparently they can. All right, now it's time to climb all these stairs back up to the top, back to the tractor. They call that the sexy tree for obvious reasons. Right now our tour guide is taking us to an indigenous village to learn more about the Costa Rican culture and to get a fermented drink that they make. I'm down for chocolate. Tastes a lot like an apple cider. Apple cider, apple juice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, yeah, pretty much. Yes, yeah. yes. What is it made out of? It's sugar cane, pineapple, and coral. Oh, okay. There you go. So all the painted things in here were painted by the indigenous people here. They survived by selling their arts and crafts to tourist people like us. A lot of really nice stuff. Beautiful. That was a nice little stop off. We just had their learning about some of the indigenous cultures that are still living within this jungle. Now we get to enjoy one of the most important parts of our day, lunch, and I am starving. So there's little bits of fruit still floating in this. This is definitely freshly squeezed, whatever it is. I think you're right, I think it's mango. Delicious. Looks good. So we just finished up our lunch. It was delicious. And now we're gonna get ready and go on the next part of our adventure, a hike up Aranal. All right, we just hopped off the bus because our guide spotted a quick viper. All right, we've got to the second part. Yes. I am ready for this hike. Me too. We are gonna go see that volcano that is hiding behind those clouds. It's there. He swears. There is a volcano there. 
It's just being stubborn today in all of this rainy weather. So after about a 20 minute, half hour hike, we were at the top. This is as far as we can go, apparently. I wish we could see more, but it's still pretty cloud covered. So one of the other cool things is he was saying that when this volcano exploded, it wasn't like hot red lava, like, like liquid that you would see in the movies or on TV. It was just like a pressure cooker that shot rocks out of the top. So there were flying boulders bigger than cars that were just landing everywhere. And that's what all these rocks are that you're seeing around. It's just stuff that's been flung out the top. The large explosion that buried the three small villages happened in July 1968. The town that survived was renamed La Fortuna, or the Fortunate One. Arenal Volcano continued to erupt from 1968 until 2010, and since then it has remained dormant. It's crazy how quickly the clouds came in when we started we could see everything all the greenery there was a lake at the bottom a lagoon now we can see nothing it is completely cloud covered it's pretty cool it tastes like a little like a bit of lettuce i really like the taste of it yeah, they serve it in some cool um, fancy, fancy salads and things. Like we don't have an army, right? And then you see three or five of them flying together, and it's like it's like, air, like an air like an airplane show. So we say that that's an airplane. That's neither fine. the Macaws flying or neither the Turkey flying. They're like the freaking Air Force. Wow. That was a pretty cool hike. I only wish that the volcano had peaked its little face out, even it's just for a minute. But what do you do? Mother Nature wins again. Now we'll make our way back to the bus and on to the next destination, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm super excited for this. Yeah. Hot Springs. Here we come. Cheers! It just, it's mind blowing that this is natural. Yeah. Not heated by electricity. I love it. I love it. I could probably sit in here all day. Yeah, I'm I sad that this. we only have an hour here, yeah. but I'm glad that we got to experience it. Yeah, this is definitely a good way to end the tour. We've been hiking all day. Yes. We're relaxing here with Much complimentary better. mixed cocktails. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a great way to end the, this tour. Mm -hmm. All right, we just finished our tour. That was a full day, 11 hours. It was a long day. Two different hikes, hot springs, swimming in a river. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth it. But now, I'm hungry. Let's get some dinner. Firewood oven pizza, super thin crust, crispy bottom, soft top, lots of cheese, sweet sauce. It's good. I like Costa Rican pizza. I could live here. Dinner was absolutely amazing. 
Now let's get back to the Airbnb because I need a shower and a bed. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it back to our Airbnb. That was such a long day, but totally worth it. We are gonna relax in our private hot tub one last time before we gotta check out in the morning. Thanks a lot for watching to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video when we head to Monte Verde. Let's go. Never mind. I'll behave. Yeah, I thought he said it was only gonna be waist deep. So I was like, oh, a little bit of my shirt can get wet. It ended up being almost neck deep. So my shirt's soaked. everything I've got to stop. <laughs> the current is so strong. I floated all the way down here. It's so crazy like how quickly it changes. Yeah. Like we could see like the edge a couple minutes ago and then now you see nothing. But some cows. Move, move. <laughs> That's right.